Hi, we're here in Appleton, Wisconsin at the Pierce Factory. We're very excited to take delivery of our new rescue bumper. Uh, I'm Captain Steve Orr with the Rock Community Fire Protection District in Arnold, Missouri. Let's take a look at the truck. Um, Rock Community's got a fairly long tradition with the Pierce line. This is our eighth truck we've had manufactured by Pierce. This is the second Velocity cab we've had. And with the truck committee and everything we've gone into where this truck goes at our house four in Arnold, Missouri, we figured this would be the best truck for us and the best cab that's gonna work out well for us. This is our first roll-up door we've had right behind the apparatus operator. We like it for turnout gear and that type of thing. We're also going to have a roll-up door on the inside so we can access it from outside as well as inside the cab. One of the unique features about our new Velocity Pumper Rescue is the top mount pump panel. This is the third truck on our fleet we have with a top mount pump panel. The guys really like the fact they can actually see the entire scene from up on top of here. Ergonomically everything works out, it's all here. You can see the uh, engineer side of the truck as well as the captain side of the truck. You get a good, good field of vision. We run quite a few calls on the interstate highway and the guys like from a safety factor standpoint having the ability to stay up here on top of the truck and out of harm's way. On the rear of the truck, we have the uh, Pierce Heavy Duty Rescue Body, 184 inches in length. It works out awesome for us. We've got plenty of compartmentation, roll-up doors all the way around. We've got the slide-out trays. We have a full, all the area we need for all of our uh, loose goods, our power tools, our hydraulic equipment, hydraulic rescue equipment, everything we need is either fastened in here on a tray, slide-out tray, or permanently mounted. We also have reels still yet to be done. We have our hydraulic reels as well as our electric reels are stowed up above in our coffin compartments up above. On the rear of the truck we've got large slide out trays. We keep our cribbing down below, our hydrant bag and all our other accessories right up here. Flip up door here houses all our miscellaneous accessories. We've got attic ladder, 24 foot extension ladder, roof ladder, our pike poles and miscellaneous. Nice thing we like about this, it's got a fully covered hose bed on top. From a safety standpoint, from a rigidity standpoint, we've got a fully enclosed two-door opening hose bed compartment. Nice feature on this truck, this is the first time we've had a two and a half inch blitz line. We'll be housing 250 feet of pre-connected two and a half inch hose, 500 feet of our three inch hose, and 1,000 feet of our large diameter supply line five inch hose. Another feature we went with on this particular truck, we actually have a separate compartment for our ABC extinguishers, our fire extinguishers on the side. First time we've had that. And obviously, full compartmentation for our self-contained breathing apparatus cylinders on both sides. This is our EMS compartment here, because we do run about 80% EMS calls at Rock Community. We have a fully heated compartment inside here with our thermostat down below. We are advanced life support to keep all of our fluids and everything at a consistent temperature. So this is our EMS compartment. Works out real well for us to keep everything climate controlled. We've got troughs on both sides and the running boards. This one is for our large diameter hose. It's a quick 25 foot pre-connect section to hit the hydrant should you need it for water supply. The other side has 100 feet of inch and three quarter, what we call the trash line. Easy deployment for smaller fires. One of the nice things we like about the Velocity cab is the, the huge interior room we have inside this cab. This cab is set up for five firefighters, the engineer, the captain, and three riding backwards. We've got an EMS compartment here where we'll be installing a roll-up door so we can access it from the outside behind the engineer or inside right here as well. The thing we like about our outboard compartments on, on the corners of the cab, we can house all of our meters, our everything else we need that we don't use all the time, safely stowed inside these two roll-up doors on the outboard of the cab. Also, we have room for four firefighters inside here with SCBAs. It works out real well and plenty of interior space. It's amazing how much space we have on the inside of the Velocity cab. Captain's seat is very comfortable, very spacious, very ergonomically set up. We'll have our mobile data terminal here. We'll have the ability to have our map books, everything in the back. Everything we have now is on our iPad. It's very, very convenient. Also a holder for the helmet, which is NFPA compliance now. Everything up above is within reach. It's very ergonomic, very user friendly. We actually have an AM FM CD installed in here for training purposes only. And of course, like all real fire apparatus, our truck is institutional green. Rock Community Fire District is based in Arnold, Missouri. We're about 15 miles south of the city of St. Louis. We cover 38 and a half square miles. We've got five engine houses. All of our first out fleet is all piers. We've got two quints, 275 foot axles, uh, single axle ladder trucks. We've got a heavy rescue pumper, two of these trucks. We also have a small midi pumper. We cover everything from the Mississippi River to railroads to interstate highway to uh, strip malls, bedroom community, just about everything you can imagine in the suburbs of St. Louis. We have a little bit of everything from an all-hazards perspective in our jurisdiction. And we're very excited about having this truck to put in service because it's going to be at my house before. Very excited about that and can't wait to get it in service.